Hey, this is Stephen Bonacore, the podfather of gaming again for Origins TV. And, you know, I do some of my best business in bars at night. I met this gentleman last night while having a beer. And I was so impressed by the things he was saying. I said, you know what, I'm going to squeeze him in. And this is Flying Leap Games. They're in booth 1160. You guys got to come here and see some of the cool things they're doing. And this is a brand new company. Tell us about what you're showing off at the show and what's coming in the future. Sure. So one of the things that I'm super excited about with these host of games is that they're party games. They're light party games. You can learn them in a minute. They take 30 minutes to play. They're super uh, 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 easy to pick up and learn. Anybody who knows me knows I love party games because I'm a social guy like right. you saw last night. Right. We just, I just love being around. and doing something that we're going to laugh about. Right. And one of the things that is core to the games that we play is that it's not just the turn it in cards for someone else to read, the pee pee poo poo card, like wins the round, like a Cards Against Humanity. There is a lot of level of role playing, a lot of level of, uh, of creativity, ingenuity, improv that is baked into the core of these games. And I'll start from, from, from this end. Sure. This, this is just tell me what to do. It's about the all the advice you never knew you needed, how it works is you're posed a dilemma, and you have advice cards in your hand. These advice cards are anywhere from uh, uh, quotes from Anonymous to quotes from history's worst and best figures, and you have to convince me what to do in that certain situation using advice in your hand. Social interaction, yeah. party game, love yeah. it. Yes, geared towards, let's not, let's not just turn in cards and laugh at funny words from a guy in LA's writing. Let's be our own funny. You are funny, we are funny. Let's capitalize on, on the, the dynamics of the group and let's have fun together. That's awesome. Our flagship game is called Wing It. It's a game of extreme storytelling. It's very simple. It's very, it's very heavy on the role playing and improv. You're posed a hypothetical scenario, a situation card. These are wacky scenarios, uh, uh, sticky situations, ethical dilemmas that you have to navigate out of using cards in your hand to help build your story. You have five cards, you pick three, and you kind of have to stream together a stream, and stream of consciousness just a story to get out of that situation. It's really fun, our bestseller. We just sold 10,000 copies, we're gonna do another 10,000 copies? You guys aren't a small company. I think they lied to me. That's a great number to sell yeah. from, a, from a company that's basically, how old is the company? Actually? So the company is, I believe, so I'm just a, a sales guy, Molly Zeff, who is the owner of the company, is, is, is observing Shabbat, a Jewish holiday, so she can't be here. I believe it's, Molly, don't kill me, it's three, four years old? That's pretty good, so yeah. you're establishing yourself now. Yep, Very good, absolutely. And, you, and, you've, and you've got a hit. Yep. That's awesome. Right. Uh, Next up on this list is Million Dollar Doodle. It's the game of the next big thing. It's a drawing based game, right? So we talk about storytelling. Uh, what's the next big extension to storytelling? It's like, okay, well, can we, can we add some sort of physical element to it? Can we add some drawing, some charades to that? Basically how it works is you have two cards in your hand. They're logo component cards. You have to draw that logo based off the suggestion and then you pass your notebook around. Everyone's got a notebook. They pass it around. They're drawing. Uh, based off the logo, you have to come up with a company name and then you have to come up with the next person in line comes up with a slogan. And then after like three or four rounds of that, you have this like amalgamous company that has morphed from your original vision and you have to pitch that like you're on Shark Tank. And it's the best person uh, uh, in that round wins. So yeah, that's uh, we also have Jewish Card Revoke, which is a license <laughs> off of Black Card Revoke. It's official licensing uh, from those awesome guys over there. I believe they, they are just killing it over there. Molly Zeff got to write for uh, for their company license for Jewish Car Revoke. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's about exploring the cultural ubiquity uh, within certain subsects of different cultures. It's really, really fun. Pretty interesting. Yeah. And what did you tell me you have a Kickstarter that's about to start or it started already? Kickstarter is going right now. Ooh. Yes. So this is our newest game in the lineup. It's actually a collaboration between her and myself. It's how to lose a guy in one DM. How to lose a guy it's about the, in one DM. It's about the cringy, horny, desperate, angry DMs that women get sent online and dating. Uh, uh, and it's a lot of fun. So how it started was Molly Zeff was texting with a lot of her friends, uh, uh, all sharing stories of like just the rude comments that they would get <laughs> online. And she was like, this should be a game. Like we should be able to ridicule this. We should be able to be a mock this. We should have something, a means of catharsis around it. Oh, that's, and that's exactly what we that's did. That's crazy. Right, so how the game works, every game gets a neoprene mat. Uh, you can't really see it, maybe you can't see it, but it's a, it's, it's this nice neoprene mat. It looks like a phone. And how it works is at the top of the round, you'll, you'll read a profile card of a guy. Let's just take Nikola, for example, and he'll have his backstory, how you know him, notable moments, cringy details, red flags. And then he'll slide three messages, each more cringy, random, and desperate than the last, into your DMs. It's your job 
to clap back with the most devastating reply to that guy. <laughs> Put him in his place. Put him in his place. Yeah, it is a game of catharsis. It's, I'm about yeah. to say, it's, it's like, yeah, you're, uh, you know, you meet these bad people, Put them down. Put right. them in that place. And that's what we noticed when, when designing this game is that, you know, the mechanics seem random, like they're disjointed, they don't work together. But in fact, it just plays into the realness of the game because guys who are left on red are capable of saying anything. They will abandon their ideology, their belief system, if it means getting in your pants that much quicker. So, like, the randomness of the cards and how they're played only has in the feedback that we've gotten uh, only added to the realness I'm, cr I'm i'm cringing right here i am i'm absolutely cringing right. oh my that's crazy so right now you people can come over yep. to booth 1160 yep. flying leap games you can see the kickstarter what, what's going on you can actually go there scan it get right to kickstarter if you'd like yep uh chris thank you so much for spending some time with me i really appreciate I it appreciate the time. thank you Come over to Booth 1160, Flying Leap Games. This is Stephen Bonacore, the podfather of gaming for Origins TV. We'll see you next time.